Hey guys, my name is Caterwolf and welcome back to Homestuck. I think last time we left off, John was getting a little, you know, drunk with his new found alchemy power. And we just went crazy and created a lot of cool stuff. But I don't believe we're done yet. We're probably going to do more stuff. One of which is combine Cosby poster with computer. What have this... Frick, what? Cosby top computer. Okay. Probably not something we want, right? You make the Cosby top computer. This thing is probably a useless piece of shit, but making it has caused you to feel an alarming sense of satisfaction. Okay. Not the huge hammer that we made? Like, really, that should have given us a huge sense of satisfaction, but I, I mean, I guess this one is pretty cool too. Moving on. Combine that hat and problem sleuth game. I didn't know it was a game. Why is there cooking candy corn? Fedora plus candy corn. It's pretty cheap, I guess. You make another ordinary fedora with four pieces of candy corn inside. Wait, I made a fedora? Oh, oh, I see. We combine fedora and the game and we got a fedora with candy corn. Great. Fabulous. Combine hammer and problem sleuth game. Oh my god, this is so expensive. Why? Whatever this item is, you can't make it yet. It requires- <laughs> It's so expensive, I can't even talk properly. It requires a ludicrous amount of grist, some types of which you have not even encountered. Yes, lots of whatever this crap is. And then, one of something. I don't even know why we- This better make something super cool. <laughs> That's all I can say. Combine iron and pogo hammer. Where did we even get all this crap? I do not remember. Holy crap, it's even cooler now! You make the wrinkle fucker. I don't like that name. Holy damn. Although it's not as big as our other hammer. Okay, this is like way too much crap. Dude, how are you holding all of this? We don't need this much stuff. Although it is... Uh, I, I guess it is pretty convenient now because we technically have four heads now. That's pretty damn amazing. And super unnecessary, but pretty damn amazing. So much sweet loot. You almost think it was simultaneously your birthday and Christmas or something. Of course you know that is ridiculous and could never conceivably happen. Back to Dave who is still strifing. So where are we in the battle, Dave? Have we untied ourselves yet? Final round. Strife. If we win this one, I hope we get to steal his bro shades. I think we deserve it. At the very least, his cap. Gotta have some loot after a battle. Jesus Christ, cheap piece of shit. Dude, we better not fall downstairs again. Bro. Uh, what the hell, bro? You just gonna leave me here? Thought we were brothers. Nice phone. <laughs> what the hell? Turns to Godhead, TG began pestering ectobiologist EB. Bro just kicked my ass. This is... Undeniably sad. At least he left you the game. The ass kicking was unnecessary, but I guess thanks. That's really all there is to say on the matter. Okay. As for Jade, Pastor John. I hope Jade is being more productive. Okay. I thought it was like over already for a second there. Is she still in Dreamland? I think she's still in dreamland. With her ultimate computer.
Are these her visions? Okay, so that's how she's been talking to us, I guess? Actually, I don't even know. Clearly, she dreams all her prophecies. I'm guessing those are gonna be in the Pestor log because they're going by way too fast. Is that my dog? <laughs> Holy crap. So which one's the real world, Jade? Jeez, what the heck? <laughs> Why? Why are you doing that? Back girl? Hey, what the heck, John? Hey, you're awake! You're awake! Finally, the moment has come! Whatever that means. That's a long distance away. <laughs> He's been asleep for 84 years! What? Wait, what? We were like double- doubly asleep? God, how- how many times is this comic gonna freaking break my brain? Garden Gnostic GG began pestering ectobiologist EB at 1325. John, did you get my package? Oh hey! No, not yet. Darn, are you sure? It was in a green box. Oh, yes, but it is my dad's car and he is still out at the store. Okay, this is like way back from F1, I think. He should be back soon. Great! So what are you up to today? I am up to my neck in this s stuff. TT is making a royal mess of my house. Lo, what's s -burb? I thought you would know this. Oh, it is this game. It's okay, I guess. I'm still figuring it out. What was that? What was what? There was a loud noise outside my house. It sounded like an explosion. Wow, really? I will go outside, I will go outside and look. Oh man, alright, but be careful, okay? I will. Garden Nasig sees pestering ectobiologists. And then begin pestering ectopologists again. I'm back. Oh, hi. I went to investigate the explosion I heard. Was it by any chance a meteor? Yes, how did you know? Oh man, it's kind of a long story. Anyway, are you okay? Did it blow up your yard or start a fire or anything? No, I'm fine. It landed a pretty good ways from my house, and I went to look at it. And it's pretty big, but Beck doesn't want me to go near it, so I came home. He seems to think it's dangerous. Well, gosh, he's probably he's probably right. Anyway, what have you been up to, John? Oh, did you get my package yet? Uh, yeah, I was trying to get to it, but Rose dropped my car into a weird spooky bottomless pit and the package was in the car, and I'm really sorry about that. Oh, no. Wow, okay, I guess I should start at the beginning. See, a meteor blew up my neighborhood? That's terrible, John, I'm so sorry. But I'm okay, and my house is too, sort of. That game I was telling you about, S. Burb, which I was playing with Rose, sort of transported me somewhere at the last minute. But now I'm trapped here. And it's weird and dark and I can't find my dad and I just lost the car and my copy of the game in the pit. And I think I have to save the world from the apocalypse. Well, it sounds really crazy and kind of scary, but it also sounds kind of exciting. I don't know, John, maybe this is your destiny. If anyone could save the world, I think it is probably you. Why, wow, you think so? Yes. Well, okay, but it's not even that simple. I was about to connect to Rose to help transport her and save her from meteors and fire and stuff, but she lost battery power and I lost the game disc. So I think I have to get TG to use his copy to save her. But that jackass won't shut up and stop rapping and stuff. 
<laughs> he's so silly. Yeah, anyway, I should talk to him about it, so BRB. Her ex the explosion she heard, wasn't that in her dream? You know, her dream world, which I don't know which one's the real world now. And it shows them waking up. Well, I, I don't know when this is from, because I don't remember. Because when we were introduced to her, I don't think she was in bed. But this is when we just, like, fought something. I forgot what it was, but, like, we just fought something, and then he just... He landed out in this bed, because that's how Rose saved him, and then he really went to sleep. Okay. It's getting more and more wild. Now what time are we in? Hey! Whoa, there you are. How is your adventure going, John? It's okay, I am making some progress. And Rose finally connected again, so she is helping me now. That's good. Oh, but like... I don't think I'm actually saving the world here. I don't know what I'm really accomplishing, but I guess it's not that. Hmm, well, I think whatever it is, it must be pretty important. Don't lose hope, John. I think it will all turn out for the best if you stay positive. Just keep listening to your grandmother's advice. Yeah, you're probably right. But, um... I don't think I mentioned Nana to you, did I? Yeah, she probably saw it in her prophetic dreams. Oh, uh... I don't know, didn't you? Hmm, I don't know. Maybe you talked to Rose or Dave about it or some. Yeah, maybe that was it. They're really weird when they talk to me about you. Like, they're always trying to convince me. Why are there so many missing twos? It's weirding me out. Try and convince me, like, like, uh, convince me you have some spooky powers, but I'm always like, she seems like a pretty regular girl to me. Hehehe. <laughs> but then when I think back, maybe there are times when it seems like you know some things. Like, maybe you know more about a thing than you are telling me. I don't know. Yes, yes, you're totally right. She knows stuff. Oh, well, John, I want to explain lots of things to you. Just things that I know. Things that I know. I'm just... Waiting. Waiting for what? Oh, John. I forgot I was messaging you about that meteor that fell near my house. Oh, yeah. Whatever happened with that? Oh, boy. Well, it turns out I was confused about it. Really confused. See, I guess I fell asleep for a while and lost track of time? That happens. Yeah, I know. Tell me about it. Maybe you should, like, wear an alarm clock or something? So what was the deal with the meteor? Well, it's hard to explain. But... I know what it is now. And now I know everything's gonna be okay. So what is it? Or is this just another thing you're waiting to tell me? Oh gosh, John, I really want to tell you all this stuff. But I can't yet. I really think you need to wake up first. Huh? Well, okay, not literally. Well, okay, maybe kinda literally. Ugh, stop being so confusing. Lo. Well, anyway, time for you to go, John. I think you have some company. Yeah, I think you have some company. <laughs> update colorful reminders. Is it like an automatic update or you gotta change it? You take a moment to gather your thoughts after your dream. While you are asleep, it can get very confusing figuring out what is really happening and what isn't. Especially during the eclipse, when you are exposed to many visions of the past, present, and future through a variety of cloud mirages. So you are having prophetic dreams, basically. It is only after you wake up that you are able to start making sense of it all, and your reminders help you to do this. But on reflection, there wasn't much in the dream about the future. You were quite surprised you were talking a dream though. It was the first time the crafty guardian has ever appeared in a dream. You have learned today that you have <laughs> you have learned that today is his birthday, just like it is for your other best friend. You have always wondered about this and never had the chance to throw him a party and bake him a cake. Now you can. But if you do, it seems that you will need a lot of candles. I mean, how many? Don't you just need like 13? Or were you talking about your dog? I mean, I don't know how old your dog is, but... Yeah, no. <laughs> now Beck is asleep here. Beck has never allowed you to enter the mystic ruins for reasons you never understood. You always assumed it was on account of your protection, but your dream has strongly suggested to you that is where you need to go now. Since your dream bot is secure in his chamber and does not need to be looked after, Beck is taking a nap in the grand foyer as he usually does. Perhaps you can take advantage of this and sneak out of the house another way? With us sneaking out of this house when you live alone, well, you know, aside from your magical dog. Grab your harpoon gun. Damn. What happened to the other rifle, though? Oh yes, of course. One of your reminders reminds you that you still have a package to deliver, too. 
This way you can kill two birds with one harpoon gun. Well, hopefully not literally, right? Use harpoons to zip line into the great outdoors. You know, Jade, why can't you just build a normal door and like, walk out of it? Well, I guess she is trying to sneak out. But, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. You do you, all your crazy technology and guns. Also, these are like some big... Whatever these are. <laughs> She's literally ziplining. Crazy, crazy 13 year olds. Is she 13? I just kind of assume they're all 13. Wait, they are 13, right? I don't even remember. Okay, back to Rose. Finish building. Wow, this is actually... Not bad. She totally plays The Sims, and she totally only does this part. She builds a house and then she quits. Architectural perfection. <laughs> John is still down here having lots of fun. Damn, this is getting more and more crazy. Maybe you should kill all of them, you know? Get some more grist because you just went wild building stuff. I guess this is a gate, huh? Damn, this is wild. Mourn the loss of cow. Oh, come on, tape. Jeez. Jeez. What the heck is even going on? I would mourn the loss of my blade, actually, but... Yeah. See you, little dude. If you had any more apple juice, you would pour some out for your homie. You have to remember to double check your closet for more juice. It's pee, dude. Just stop. Okay, go get a goddamn new sword. Hopefully a better one, right? <laughs> Half blade kind. We got a blacksmith, maybe we can fix it. Perhaps you will, but if you do, it looks like you'll have to break it first. Perfectly good strife specimens. Down the toilet. Thanks, bro. Thanks, bro. For bringing my sword and not even giving me another one. Although, I guess we could just get another one. We have like a gazillion swords in the house. Capture log beta. Did you actually capture log it? Okay, it's conflicting with something. You try to grab the beta. Oh, it's conflicting with your nunchucks. Nunchucks. Oh yeah, that's a weapon. Why don't we just equip that? But you forgot your Sildex is completely packed. You wonder why you jammed all this useless crap in here in the first place. Maybe you assume you would weaponize it all during one of your customary hash rap battles with your bro? Why is that a thing? But in retrospect, that probably just would have been a huge chore and would have made the battle drag on forever. It's like, what are you, made of time? I hope you are. Maybe we try time travel. Eject your modest and set it to Scrabble values. Oh, great, now we do this whole goddamn thing. You dump all this crap all over the roof. You then set your modest to the Scrabble hash function for some reason. This function always makes it a little less intuitive to calculate hash values for items, and therefore more cumbersome to rat with. But you guess that's kind of a moot point now that your bro flew off fuck knows where. His mysterious ways transcend irony once again. Okay, weird. In. More weird. Get beta? You get the beta! Now yielding a radically different hash value with the Scrabble function. What? 3, 4, 5, 6. How is it a different value? It still goes into 6. Isn't that what it was before? Would you say a radically exactly the same value? Okay, weird. Pester Rose. How's it going, bros? Turn to Godhead began pestering tentacle therapist. Okay, I got it. I hope you appreciate how much gross, spongy proboscis I had to fillet to get this game. Hello? What are you doing? Anyway, I'm going downstairs now and installing this thing. Later. Later, dudes. Meanwhile, we're burning to death inside this house. Oh, it's my mu mutant cat. Uh, what's his name again? Mutini or something? I forgot. You have finally finished your building project. You have done about all you can do for John. You don't think you could provide much assistance against all those ogres this time. But at least now John appears to be armed to the teeth. He's like so armed. If he had more arms, he'd be even more armed. All there is left to do is to wait for Dave. Well, he just contacted us, so... Capture log and send John code for his present. How lovely. That will certainly hasten the parcel's delivery, but the gift is not finished yet. 
You have spent months accelerating your knitting skills to be able to make the gift of perfect sentimental appeal. You even incorporated a cherished heirloom you had had as long as you can remember. When he sees your staggering gesture of sentimentality, he will finally understand. He will understand that in the game of facetious sentimental gestures, no one gets the best of Rosalind. What kind of weird, like, competition is this? Just some friendly competition? Yeah, I don't know. I right, go back months in the past. I guess back to before this lovely present was knitted. Dear Rose. Uh, did John write this? Crappy sorry. Dear Rose, happy birthday. Oh, actually, I, should I just read it off this thing? I guess I should just read off this thing. Dear Rose, happy birthday. Thanks for being such a great friend all these years. I know you like the people in your life, but I know deep down, you really do. Yeah, I know- oh, oh I read the wrong. <laughs> I know you don't care, okay. I know you like to make it out like you're playing it cool and don't care much about the people in your life, but I know deep down you really do. Hell, not even that deep down. It's like, um, like your subconscious is having a wet t-shirt contest and you being all aloof in this totally soggy shirt doing no good at all and hiding nothing. Oh wait, it looks like you can play this game of cracking all these highfalutin psychology books. Oh snap! But yeah, I got you this because I think you're really creative and you can make something nice with it if you put your mind to it. And it might help you to take your mind off a lot of all this serious business you're always absorbed in. You know all this weirdo pseudo gothy stuff or whatever? Frankly, it's kind of depressing. Anyway, you're the best, Rose. Have a rad 13th. I will catch up with you guys soon. God, you're also old. Ghostly Trickster John. I guess that means that Rose, Dave, and Jade, because I think they have, uh, like their birthdays are around the same time. So they're 13, and John is now 13 because he had his birthday recently. So you guys are all 13. Eh, same thing. Same thing. What the heck is that? Who the heck is that? Answer. That's a new person. Grim Ciliatrix. Auxiliary Auxiliatrix? Jay began trolling. It's a troll, okay. <laughs> Tentacle therapist, TT. Why is it that when the subject of temporal mechanics is broached, your sparing human intellects instantly assume the most ingratiating posture of surrender imaginable? Time is not that difficult to understand. It is a utility that a universe may resort to in order to advance a desired degree of complexity or may not resort to if that is the case. It's all pretty pedestrian, but no. When time travel comes up, you present the face that a man shows when the breeze gradually alerts him to his absence of netter dressings. I don't see how we are to properly agitate you all if you continue to insist on failing to understand basic concepts which common infants effortless effortlessly manage to describe via scrawlings in their own puddles of sloppy discharge. Okay, first of all, gross, and every sentence there looks like a freaking title, because <laughs> they're all freaking capitalized. Man, there are- this trolling thing literally means they're trolls. That is hilarious. Have we spoken before? Yes, in the future. You and your friends never cease to invent ways to strengthen the credibility of your assertions. Oh my, it is your human sarcasm again. I enjoy listening to it, and I wish doing so could serve as my primary form of recreation. There, see, I just did it too, saying the opposite thing to emphasize my contempt. But suddenly, I feel more primitive and hate myself a little more. It was like this funny miracle that just happened in my heart. God, someone is facetious and annoying. <laughs> I would admire the sophistication of you and your fellow future dwellers a little more if you seem to be aware the word human only functions as the sort of adjective in bad science fiction. But I won't be rude and change the subject. There's still a bit of unflagellated straw poking out of your rhetorical effigy over here. Oh dear, no, we aren't from the future, but we are already in agreement that you don't get it, and never will. I thought you said we spoke in the future. We did. Your future. For me, it was only a couple minutes ago. Damn, we're getting into time travel territory here. I understand. You exist in some temporal stratum through which you have communication access to various points of my timeline. It's not that complicated. Yes, that's right. Will you try to talk some sense into your idiot friends, so that we may proceed to bother them all on more rational terms? 
I try to every day with mixed results. But you see, it's not that I don't believe, uh, I don't understand you. It's just that I don't believe you. Because it's nonsense. A bit persistent and coordinated nonsense. Why would a bunch of temporarily dislocated trolls want to harass a group of friends throughout completely random points in time? I would admit that this campaign of prov provocation wasn't all that well thought out. Don't tell anyone I said that. Well, I don't even know who the hell you are. Alright, maybe you should get some trolling tips from us humans. Our sparing intellects are probably better suited to it. Yeah, maybe. Why don't we be friends? You want to be my friend. I think so. I think we're supposed to. You suggested as much earlier? You mean I did in the future? Yes, a couple minutes ago. Probably because I remember you mentioning it in the conversation we're having now? That's likely. Hmm. Your commitment to this role-playing scenario is intriguing. What choice do I have but to accept? Okay, I guess we have no choice but to accept this weird, weird situation. What the, what the heck is this? These are like shades. Wait, what? Is that what- is that- wait. Is this someone else? This looks like someone else's table and stuff. This is Dave's house. I think. Okay, yeah. <laughs> hey, we did get these shades. Although I think this is the past. Okay. Dear Dave. Alright, cool. Guessing this from John as well. Yo, sub shit. Okay, weird. Dear Dave, happy birthday. I just wanted to take a break from telling you how much your gay butt stinks all the time and say what an awesome friend you are. Jeez. Seriously, on any other day, I would be downplaying how you aren't really as cool as you think you are. But just between you and me, I think you might actually be that cool. I think you just gotta get out of your bro's shadow and spread your wings, dude. So I got you these. They're totally authentic. They actually touch Ben Stiller's weird, sort of gaunt face at some point. I'm sure you'll dig them because I know you low so hard in that movie. Okay, so for real, this is sort of a shitty present. But it is an ironic present because I know you wouldn't have it any other way. Maybe you can wear them ironically sometime? They might even be more ironic than you and your bro's dumb pointy animal sh anime shades. Anyway, have a good one buddy and stay busy being totally sweet. Ghosty Trickster John, that's actually really sweet of him to send him this. Cause like, oh you see Dave totally, he's totally wearing it. Not even being ironic, you know? Step out your bro's shadow, who needs those ugly ass shades? Okay, we get like better shades from John. Oh, not a troll, dude. Oh, he changed them immediately. That's hilarious. Okay, let's answer the troll. Man, they all have some really bizarre names. My god, this person actually types like a troll. Adios? Adios? Is that how you spell adios? Adios Torador. Began trolling turn tech godhead. Hey! First, okay, I think you're awful. Let's put that fact on the table where we can both see it. Now you have been primed for the digestive ruination that's about to take place and the comprehensive soiling of the laundry enveloping your person. Oh my god, he's hyped like a tool! He does. Oh my god, stop that mess. Yeah, now you're getting it. What you are in for. Are you ready to be trolled within an inch of your miserable human cortex? This is so weak, I'm almost getting tired of wasting good material on you guys. It's like, you've got nothing. It's always one of you sprouting up and ranting about how hard I'm about to get trolled with no ensuing substance. You don't even know anything about us. What do you fuckers thought I was a girl? <laughs> okay, yeah, but the thing is that I don't care about your anatomical details and things like that. I know what you've done last summer. Or will do, actually. It's the most awful thing, the worst you could ever do. Sorry, I wouldn't cyber with you, dude. In the future or whatever. What? Wait. Oh, okay, you're the one who likes to submit innuendo. Human innuendo. Yes, human innuendo. Sorry for the lack of clarity. There's so much lack of clarity here, I don't even know what's going on. So at what point in the future am I supposed to look forward to you whipping up this titanic hankering for my knob? Uh, be honest with me, because I'm busy. And I want to know exactly when I got to clear some space in my calendar for when some fuckwood blenders I have a magical phone booth and makes a ballad inspiring play for my throbbing beef truchin? Truchin? I don't know. 
Should I be perturbed by these illusions? No man, look, I just need to know when to be there, when the stars come into alignment and your flux capacitor lets you finally state your meteor, meteor, meteoric greed for crotch dashion. That's a dog, isn't it? A dashion? Is that how you say it? I wouldn't want to miss it and cause a paradox or something. It'd suck if the universe blew up on account of you missing your window of opportunity to help yourself to a pupescent boy's naked span porpoise. What? Uh... Okay, this is starting- this is sort of starting to upset me. It's upsetting me. Jesus, you are such a shitty troll. I guess I'll leave you alone and find another point in time to bother you. When I guess you are more emotionally susceptible and don't have all these bees in your bonnet about your human sexuality. What? God, I don't understand anything. Oh no, no dude. You sass me up. We are in the shit now. Together. For the long haul. I- what? We're motherfucking entrenched in this bitch. You and me. Welcome to Nam. Now grab my hand and shimmy your soggy ass off that muddy bank before Charlie gets the fucking drop. Uh, who? Who's Charlie? He's the guy who's gonna read our vows? I'm feeling pretty freaking matrimonial all of a sudden. Take a look down by your foot. See that little bottle? Stop on that shit like it's on fire. Noisy ethnic dudes are flipping the fuck out and waving us around on chairs till someone gets hurt. I'm your- are you rapping again, Dave? I swear to freaking god. I'm- I'm your 300 pound matron Lee freight train? And my gaping furnace is hungry for coal, so get goddamn shoveling. Oh my god. Bro, look at my eyes. That twinkle? That be devotion. Your herniated pro wrestler sweaty purple taint. Sparkling like a visit from your fairy fucking godmother? Shippy pair and true? That's what you see. A kaleidoscopic supernova of all your hopes and dreams? All swishing together? Together? <laughs> My words are like, oh, breaking apart. Radially? Radially? Effencing? Effencing? Arms of more little boy peckers than you can imagine. Turning out insane corkscrew haymakers of a billion dancing. Vienna sausage is strong. This is how we do this? This shit's more real than craft mayo? Adia's torrent or block turns a guy to- I would block him. What is wrong with Dave? Oh my god. I swear. If, like, in the future, he still talks like this, I am gonna go insane. I hope he, like, you know, gets some maturity, you know, gets some growth as, you know, personally, as a person, and stops typing like this. I don't care, like, how much, you know, how cool your, your friends think you are, Dave. I can't stand this anymore. None of this made sense. Oh my god. I would block him. Like, he is the troll in this mess. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, this is getting way crazy all of a sudden. Because, like, stuff is getting even more wild. But we're going to leave this here for now because I think we got a good amount of material out of the way. We've gotten introduced to some trolls. I don't know how important they're going to be. Actually, I think three, three trolls? Because there was one that was, you know, quote unquote trolling Jade. I forgot their name. But there was just two in these couple of pages. And I've already forgotten the other one's name. <laughs> Why are the names so hard to remember? There's, oh my god, I'm about to remember so many names. So this is Adios, Adios, Torador, who's trolling Dave and subsequently blocked him because he is pure awful. With his words, um, I think it's only three trolls, unless I'm forgetting someone, but we've been introduced to them and now time traveling is in play now. Well, kind of time traveling. I don't know, there's, there's a lot of stuff in play. I am so lost. There must be like a chart somewhere, but I'm not gonna look at it because it's gonna spoil. You know, there's just so much stuff going on at once. <laughs> but, you know, we got a lot of stuff, uh, done here, I guess. So I'm just going to leave this here. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. Please let me know what you think. And I will see you guys in the next video.